Mastering English. Agreement with gender-specific pronouns. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to another exciting lesson in our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're focusing on agreement with gender-specific pronouns. This topic might seem tricky at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. To start, let's discuss what we mean by gender-specific pronouns. In English, we have pronouns that are specific to gender. He, she, his, her, him, and hers. He and his are used for males, while she and her are used for females. For example, he is my brother, the brother is male, she is my sister, the sister is female. Now that we know what gender-specific pronouns are, let's move on to pronoun agreement. This means that the pronoun must agree in gender with the noun it is replacing. For example, incorrect. John said that she is tired. John is a male name, so, she, is not correct. Correct. John said that he is tired. A common mistake is failing to match the gender of a singular noun with its pronoun, especially in the case of professions. For example, incorrect, the nurse said that he is ready for the next patient. Here we assume that all nurses are male, which is not accurate. Correct, the nurse said that she is ready for the next patient. In this case, we understand that the nurse is female. Please note that this rule also applies to plural nouns. For example, incorrect, the nurses said that he is ready for the next patient. Here we assume that all nurses are male, which is not accurate. Correct, the nurses said that they are ready for the next patient. Here, the pronoun, they, correctly refers to a group of nurses. An interesting change in modern English is the increasing use of they as a singular pronoun. This is often used when the gender of the person being referred to is not known or when referring to a person who does not identify as either male or female. For example, if a student needs help, they should ask a teacher. Alex said they don't like chocolate. We hope that this video helps clarify how gender-specific pronouns should agree with the nouns they are replacing. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep using these rules in your everyday English. Happy learning! We'll see you in our next Grammar Fundamentals video.